some back straps for my white tail. Some asparagus. I had some great questions come in from you fans. Um, gonna sit down, do a little QA and grill. Being grilled by you guys while grilling some back straps. Um, first question I'd like to answer was uh, how do you select the gym to train out of, to fight out of, and to call home? Um, you know, when I first selected the gym, that very first trained out of, which was at Team Alpha Male up in Sacramento, I just went where the best were in my weight division. You know, um, here I favor built a gym with killers up in uh, Northern California. With Chad Mendez, and Joseph Benavidez, Uriah himself, they were all number twos and threes in the division that I was looking to get involved in. Um, so I feel like I wanted to be challenged by the best. The only way you can get better is being pushed. And being pushed, I'm gonna get pushed by the best. So I wanted to test my skills. And for myself, I got involved in MMA at a late age. I was 24 years old. So I knew if, if I wanted to make a run at it, I needed to see how good I was. So I gave myself a year um, to really judge my skill. I wanted to go to the place where I could get beat up on and see if this was actually gonna be something I could really make a living out of. So first and foremost, I think find a gym that has very talented fighters. Um, it's never good to go to a gym and you're the best fighter there, the best athlete there. Go somewhere where you're going to get pushed. Um, but then I also recommend traveling the world and training in, in multiple locations to see where you fit best at. Just because the, the best athletes are there doesn't mean that that's the best for your mentality or the best for uh, what you need, right? You might be a better striker and you need more grappling, so you need to find a school that's more grappling based. Uh, I like to travel the world because I learn from everyone. Learn from the best coaches in the world, learn from the best athletes in the world, and then eventually you find uh, what's home. And if you don't find home, you build it like I did here at the training lab at uh, Southern California, Orange County. I um, just opened our new, new gym down here. Um, moved down here because of the, the likes of Sam Calvita and the brain power he's got on how to make me a better athlete. Um, and fortunately enough, I have a head coach like Dwayne Ludwig that's willing to travel here for my fight camps. You know, but I Head to Colorado here now that I'm not in a fight camp. Hopefully once or twice a month to get some training out there. Because I know he's the best coach for me. The next question was if I had any advice on finding your particular fighting style for MMA. Um, that's something you have to develop over time. Find out what you're best at. I came in the sport as a wrestler and I learned to blend that with my striking and now I like to be a little more striking heavy um, because I've created angles and uh, able to fight both stances. So, you naturally will acquire that style the more you train. And you have to train every aspect of MMA. Um, the Taekwondo, the kickboxing, the boxing, the Jiu-Jitsu, the wrestling. Find what your strong suit is. Use that to your advantage, but then you have to, especially now in the world of MMA, you have to blend them all together. If you're only a strong striker, you're gonna get taken down and beat up. If you're only a strong grappler, guys are good enough at footwork and defense of, of wrestling now to stop takedowns. So, you have to train every form and then naturally you will find find where you're best. And you have to do it live, right? Those practices have to be live. You have to get in there, you have to spar, um, to find out what you're best at. Because you will perform at what's your best. And then you, you find that style and you create it. But you have to blend them together. Another great question I had was how wrestling impacted my career. And for me, without wrestling, I would not be a world champion. I think wrestling is by far the strongest base to get involved in for MMA. I mean, not only because of the martial art. You know, the martial art of, of wrestling is great. You can dictate where the fight goes. If you want to keep it standing because this guy's a better jiu-jitsu player than you, then you have that ability. Um, if you need to get it to the ground because this guy's a better striker, yeah. Wrestling dictates where the fight's going to take place. That's a very important piece within MMA. Um, but even more so than that, wrestling until to this day is the hardest sport I have ever done. Um, even when I still do it. I get, I, Always like think like ah, I don't want to go to wrestling practice. You know you're gonna get beat up on. You're gonna hurt your body. And you're gonna have to push your cardio. It's just the, the world's toughest sport, and um, it helps build character. It helps build um, dedication, work ethic, as well as like I said before, the martial art of wrestling is just so important. So without wrestling, I would not be able to achieve it. That is how it has impacted my life. Uh, another great question was, do I prefer to cut a lot of weight to fight in a weight class or to stay closer to my natural weight? Um, obviously, I really think that that's a no-brainer. I'd rather 
prefer to stay at my normal weight. That's why I fought at 135s. I mean, it's not my normal weight. My walk around weight's like 155, so that's still 20 pounds. But that's the, the closest fighting weight. Um, I even would prefer to go 145s. You know, I made the mistake of going to 125s because the opportunity presented itself. Um, you know, it was something that uh, the champion of the weight class, I know that I'm better than. Um, so I pushed myself to the extreme. I cut too much weight. My body uh, wasn't taking it and it told me so. And that's also a reason why I got in trouble, but we don't need to go that far anymore. That's been uh, talked about. But uh, yeah, so I'd way prefer to stay at 135s and actually right now trying to stack some weight on eating the, the way I am and lifting the way I am. Uh, who knows, I might even come back at 145s. I'm hoping to stack some serious weight on, some, some muscle gain, but uh, you're a lot happier, having a lot more fun, closer to your natural weight. I think cutting weight is overrated. Again, I only did it because of the opportunity of being a, a two-time champ and that, that uh, title fight being right there. You know, And I know that I'm better than the guy, just unfortunately, if I didn't go my way and the body didn't want to let me, my body did not want so let me drop that weight. When you get below 4% body fat, I can tell you this much is not healthy for you. So stay closer to weight, you'll be happier, you'll perform better. Um, I think it's the all around choice, to be honest. The question was, if I could have one dream fight with anybody, who would it be? Um, that's a tough question. I've been a UFC fan for a really long time. But I still would think it'd have to be George St. Pierre. I mean, obviously, I'm nowhere close to the weight class, but I've always uh, idolized the guys. One of my favorite fighters, the way he's handled his business. And at the time, when I even thought about getting into sport, he was the greatest. I mean, he is one of the greatest of all times. So I think that'd be an awesome fight. Um, and why not Connor? You know what I mean? Like, he's got all this great hype and attention on him, which is well deserved. But I think he's got big holes in his game and he's been matched up perfectly for a lot of people and I would be a huge threat. So that would be uh, another one and it put the money in the pocket. <laughs> right, I mean that's what to me why I got, I mean I, I got in the sport because I like to compete. Um, but nowadays it's to pay the bills. You know, make sure my kids gonna grow up the way I want them to and I can keep a roof over our head and uh, open as many clean juices as possible.